Yo, what is up, you sexy ladies and gents? Firing red lines there, and today I'm back making another video on Entropia Universe. Now, um, this one is from a close personal friend of mine who plays Entropia as well, and I am good friend with good friends with him from a long while. And he asked me uh, if I could make a video because we're in the different countries now, because he lives in France and me here. Um, he asked me. Uh, what would the best course of action be to make a steady flow of cash? And I told him what I'm going to tell you, okay? Um, from my experience, uh, you're, as an, this is for new players, obviously, not people that have got a lot of money in the game. Um, you're going to want to go to here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is my ped flow center. I get 10 pack a day from my uh, land deeds, okay, um, I know it's not much, but, you know, it stacks up over time, and it's generally a good way, because, uh, okay, admittedly, they're small, but there are big ones, so what you're going to do is go to the auctioneer, which is wherever you want, uh, go to the estates, and click on... I find it easier to just go, there you go, buyouts, lowest buyout, which this one is uh, 63.99, which is what it says, but obviously it rounds it out at 64 ped, okay, pay 64 ped, and that landed is yours, okay, it's done and dusted, um, and then it will give you a revenue of 1 to 3 peck every single day. Okay, depending on how Arcadia's revenue is doing. So, if it's only it only gives you one, it's not doing exceedingly well. All right, but if you get a couple of these, you can earn quite a bit. But it takes time. Uh, if you think on cost value, it's probably cheaper to get the Arcadia landed. Uh, no, sorry, not the Arcadia landed. <laughs> Uh, this will probably help it. Calypso landed. Sorry, I don't know why it was so hard for me to remember that. Uh, is there one where it's just got one Calypso landed? Mm, I don't think so. Ah, there, Calypso landed. There you go. Nearly 2k. 2k for one. Okay. If you do the maths, um, 2k pad will give you. Bah, you're thinking 5 to 7 ped a week. Okay, now do the maths yourselves at home, okay, because obviously you don't want to listen to me. Um, well, my personal opinion, because I'm shit at maths, so there's no real point for me to do it. I see numbers, I'm just like, yeah, small numbers, done. Um, but yeah, uh, if you wanted to get the same revenue as that in seven days, okay, uh, with ten land deeds, you get ten pet, alright? Um, if in one week you'd probably need about 50 of them roughly okay which yeah, it can be quite a lot but I go for the Arcadia Underground Deeds because I'm not got as as much money as I'd like uh, in the game obviously but this is like um, uh, what do you call it a, a retirement plan I guess it's, it's basically if anything goes south I've got this to help me out so you know it's like you get paid maybe you put some money in uh, you buy a couple of Arcadia underground deeds fucking sorted you know <laughs> done and dusted so that is generally what I would say is like get a couple of uh, Arcadia underground deeds obviously have a stable income don't overspend too much you know on the game because at the end of the day it's a fucking game you know okay it gives you money but there's always a possibility that the game might close at some point so grab as much money as you can from it if possible okay don't put too don't invest too much in that's a stupid idea because you never know and especially if you're a noob to the game most people think that if you put money in you're going to make a, a massive um a massive bonus but on the contrary you're probably going to lose 25 percent of that the money that you put into the game okay because straight off the bat the company is going to take money from you Obviously, they take their percentage when you add the money into the game. Um, and then you get yours into PED. And then when you pull money out, they take a portion of it as well. Okay? So that's just, that's just generally how it is. But then you get you get easier 
um, globals. So they they do give you a back, but you're probably you're only probably going to get one third back. You know, in these things. So um, sorry if this wasn't is not an entertaining video. Um, I never make these videos to be entertaining. I make them to help people out because me as a noob, when I first started out, I had a lot a lot of difficulty to do anything because I didn't know what to do, where to go, etc. And I looked on internet so many times. I typed in this name, this name, this name, and I couldn't find shit. You know, it was like I, t I literally even typed in how does a noob make money in Entropia? And some fucker shows me hunting. You know, and then I get a mentor and he's just like you ain't going to earn shit. And he was right. I was doing nothing but going in circles on the contrary. I was losing money, okay? If you're a noob in this game, sweat. Why? That's why. You get stats. You get skills. You get everything that you need to be a stronger person, okay? In the game. A stronger character, alright? You get concentration. Then, if you want to do something more interesting, you instead of just sweating, you become a swanter, okay? So, I got my gun from Rocktropia. And I got a second one from Ray. There you go. I got two of these. I shoot. I got guns. I got this. This is from Shrapnel. I got a rocket launcher from one of the drops. I got some shells from one of the hunting parties. I got BLP packs that I don't use, but I can sell them off, you know. And then you get items. I've sold all the, pretty much all of the items here, but if I go hold on, where's my inventory? Is this yeah, this is it. There's a wrong one. Actually, no, I'm getting sidetracked. My bad. What's the repair? The fuck is the storage? Fucking society. Trade. Is there actually even a storage here? Oh, there you are. Okay. Now, there. these are all my landies. Alright. One, two, three, four, eight, ten. Okay. There you go. I've got ten landies. They give me ten peck a day. They're not much. You know, not really interesting. They're there. That's all they are. Just tells you there's no description about them. They are... Literally almost shite, okay? I've got nothing else, no weapons, no tools, then my materials, alright? Materials that I want to keep, because you can use them for crafting, alright? And this is to go to a secret island on, uh... I think it was Rocktropia. Nah, it wasn't Rocktropia. I'm sure it wasn't... Oh, I'm, get, I'm getting confused now. I'm, not, it, I'm pretty sure it is Rocktropia, actually. Never mind. It is Rocktropia. You can use these bananas to give it to a dragon and it takes you to a secret island. Then you need these rotten bananas to get home. Okay, don't ask me why, it's just the thing. So, there you go. Uh, I put all my sweat in there, which I'm going to do now. The way I do it is, I take 1k, you know. Because I, I have a job, I don't have time to play the game. So, I just come in, sweat, get 1k, fuck off bed. You know, done, sorted. I've got a bit of money, that will get me 12 ped, 12 ped and a bit, you know. Probably about 13 ped at most. These, I'm keeping them for when you get a lot, because then you can sell them off. Daily token, keep them, you can sell them off. Animal oil, crafting, 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 crafting. Quest. When I find the fucking quest, I'll do it. Um, And then it's just like, there, I've got nothing else. There, that's it. Sorted. I've got nothing else in there. Because you don't need to have a shit ton of everything, okay? You need basic minimal items that you keep that you repair you take care of all right you need mining items a sweat tool and heal okay vivo s10 is the best all right uh i'll show you where to get the vivo s10 if i can get the fuck out of this building because it's a shitty pain in the ass but yeah the because you'll get a vivo but it's a limited one all right so that means you can't repair it so it'll break after a while the vivo s10 that you gain from this instance you can keep for life Okay, but you need to be in a team, which isn't hard because a lot of people like to do them. Okay, now let's fucking zoom out and we will go and have a look. Let me get it. There you go. Boom. Camp Icarus. Here we come, baby. So yeah, don't don't go like monster hunting all the time. Do your quests, the the beginning quests, and try and get around to get all these teleports and etc. and etc. You know, you want to do this shit. Um, because otherwise you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to roam in circles and you're going to be lost. Okay, I haven't been in there in a long time. This is going to be groggy as fuck. Come on. Hold on. 
2k bottles of vibrant sweat, it will grow your hair back. No, it won't. Fucking liar. <laughs> okay, this is the geezer you're going to talk to. The gauntlet fag, alright? Um, he's the guy in the suit, alright? Pretty sure he changes all of suit like every fucking other day. I'm pretty sure he was orange yesterday. But yeah, um, he's the one who takes care of the gauntlet. And uh, inside there, you'll have like an instance. Go on to level one gauntlet. So make yourself a team with random people. Just say who wants to go gauntlet. And I'm pretty sure you'll get the choice because there's a lot of people around here that want to do the gauntlet. Uh, and then you'll be rewarded with the, the normal items, you know, some ammunition, some shrapnel. And a Vivo S10. The first time you only get one. I mean, it's, it's Entropia. They're not that generous. Okay, I won't be that generous either. You know. Um, and then all you gotta do is keep playing, keep playing, keep doing this. You know, it's like uh, you've got you you got yourself a Vivo. You've got your Vivo S10. You've got the limited Vivo. Then all you gotta do is get to Boreas because when you start off, you're not going to be able to get around very easily. So get to Boreas. Start sweating. All right. Go to a society terminal, try and get in contact with a uh, with a society and see if you can join them. Uh, if you won't join mine, I got lucky because I arrived into a, a town. Where did I arrive to? I'm pretty sure it was here. I arrived here. Okay. Oh wait, was it here? It wasn't the Jason. That was it. It was four Aries. It was four Aries. I got to four Aries. My car was on fire. It was damaged to hell. I'd been driving for hours trying to dodge these mobs to get there. And this guy comes up and he's like, hey, pull out your car. I'll repair it. So I was like, I know people can't steal your shit or damage it in a safe zone. So I thought, fuck it. I'll pull it out. And he actually repaired it. And he was like, are you a noob? And I was like, yeah, I've been playing for three days now and I haven't got anywhere. Can you help? And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, if you want, you can join our society. We'll uh, and uh, we'll give you a mentor. You know, which happened to be Ray. You know, the guy that I met was called Jammer. Okay, he was the one who got me into the society, and I'm very happy for that. And I, I thank him a lot. And Ray is now my mentor, and I've been going along slowly because obviously I have a job, so I can't be on the game like 24/7." and upgrading my stats and everything but I'm getting money behind me and I might be able to do something with that money at some point you know so oh there you go fucking sponsoring your bullshit I don't really care but that is pretty much it okay guys um, if you followed through it, it write it down if you need it but follow these tips I know I ramble a lot but I, it's to try and get my point through because I've like I've sat here and I said everything I've said to you I've told to my mate and he was like ah oh, but that takes time and I'm just like Bruh, this is a video game where you earn money. What, you think they're going to give you 20, 200 quid every week on a silver platter? You're going to have to work your fucking ass off for this. You know, if you want to get into Entropy, you need time, you need patience, and you need a fucking brain in between your ears. Alright? Because people that come in and just shoot shit up and think they're going to make a profit, no. Alright? And don't get me wrong, I'm not calling you an idiot because I can. It's like, I did the same fucking thing. I came in here and I shot shit up and I used a, like probably 30 ped worth of ammo thinking that I'd make 60 ped, you know, when actually I only made 20, you know, and that was with selling everything off, plus then my gun was broken, and I couldn't do anything with it, I didn't understand limited items, etc, etc, so I was stuck, so I stopped playing the game, and now I'm back at it, because I, I, I watched videos, I talked to my friends, you know, and I got older, obviously, so my brain decided to wake up, because at the time I was only... 17 I think when I first played this game um, yeah um, my brain was shite at the time you know a dumb kid thinks he can do shit but nah oh look there's an advisor, advisor on that's cool oh, I think he's going though but yeah so uh, that's all that's all I can say but at, at the most just have patience alright good things c will come to you in Entropia if you're patient, alright, this game is a game that if you give, it gives back if you if you think you can just take, it will fuck you in the ass so fucking hard that you will die alright, um so, concentrate listen, learn, and try okay, don't just give up because you're not earning money, it's like, some people have been on this game for 8 years and they're only just making a living, or not even a living, you know, on this game um, and I'm learning from a guy that can make his daily living 
every week in this game. Th thanks to and that's my mentor, Ray. Okay, he's been playing for eight years and he is making a living now. Okay, playing this game, he makes quite a lot of money every week. I'm not going to tell you how much because it's none of our. Uh, it wasn't even my business, but he just told me. So. Yeah, but he can make a living every month, and he is fine. You know, he is happy, he is living at home, and he's fine. He plays the game every single day, and I think he's played it every single day for the past eight years. You know. So, there you go. You know, if you take your time, and you listen, and you learn, it's alright. If you've got any questions, send me a qu send me it, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Um, and... Again, if it's not up to scratch to what you... If you don't understand me, because obviously I, I ramble a lot and my phrases don't mean shit sometimes, ask me again. Tell me that I didn't say it properly and I'll try my best to make it English. Okay? I know this video has been a long one, but I wanted to get my point through because I've been seeing people running around um, drunk as fuck. That's what they look like. They look like drunk, drunk chimpanzees that have got no idea what they're doing. They don't even know where they are, I'm pretty sure. And it's pissing me off because I used to be like that and I, all I wanted was help. You know, probably some people don't want help. Then don't click on the video. If you want help, click on the video. Alright? It's a long ramble, not a lot of action. But my videos aren't for action on Entropia. They are for knowledge and they are to help you guys try and get through the game just like I am. Okay? I'm having difficulty. Let's have difficulty together. But let's make it a little bit easier for each other. Okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry if I made you bored shitless. Uh, love you all, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.